<clears throat> My name is Frank Miller. I'm the president of Lake Country Frack Water Specialist and the original founder of the company. I have over 36 years of experience in water <clears throat> and wastewater treatment, power generation, food and chemical processing, pharmaceutical manufacturing, pulp and paper manufacturing, and consulting engineering design. <clears throat> As part of this experience, I've held the position of director of engineering for a Fortune 500 company, general manager and production manager of several chemical manufacturing plants and technical director in the paper industry, as well as engineering manager of an engineering firm specializing in industrial process design and development. Previous to Lake Country, I was founder and president of Innovative Environmental Products Incorporated of Rochester, New York. The mission of IEP and now Lake Country has been to develop environmentally sound green technologies that maximize <coughs> reuse and recycling of waters, minimize waste, make hazardous waste not hazardous, and ultimately can create marketable products from waste. I hold two patents that include the recovery of industrial and agricultural waste for water reuse and mitigation of environmental impacts by the resultant solid waste. Additionally, I currently have multiple patents pending related to unique wastewater treatment and precipitate separation technologies designed for treating Marcellus fluids and waste. Lake Country Frack Water Specialist is a small startup company with operations in Livonia, New York, and Tioga, Pennsylvania. This business startup is a direct result of Marcellus development. Treating hydraulic fracturing waste and wastewaters is a new business venture with considerable opportunity for many other entrepreneurs. <clears throat> you will hear today that there is no way to dispose of Marcellus waste in New York today. But the oil and gas industry is no different from other industries. All processes create waste, and it has been a trademark of American business to learn to handle all waste in an environmentally safe manner while pursuing opportunities to create ben beneficial businesses from waste streams. At Lake Country, have, we have successfully developed, <coughs> excuse me, we have been in, sorry, let me just get a drink of water. <laughs> At Lake Country, we have been successful in developing technologies to perform our stated mission in primarily mobile systems, which may also be readily adapted to semi-permanent or permanent systems. Our mobile systems allow for cost-effective treatment of waste at a well site, resulting in recycling and reuse of the water, as well as mitigating truck traffic. In addition, because our systems are mobile, they do not require the high capital cost and long-term land use impacts associated with brick and mortar treatment plants. We have developed and commercialized a series of technologies, most of which are patent pending, specifically focused on oil and gas development industries. These include the following. Removal of barium and strontium from hydraulic fracturing flowback water produce a pro to produce a product, which is barium sulfide, a waging agent for, in drilling months, and clear brine for recycling of the water in subsequent fracks. Uh, another system is treatment of oil-based uh, drilling waste. Uh, recycling and reuse of waste from bentonite and cutting wastewaters from pipeline boring applications. Treatment of drilling fluids from top hole operations. And saline concentration reduction of high TDS uh, total dissolved solid drilling wastewaters to accommodate safe, sto safe storage and disposal and economic reuse. In each of these technologies, our goal is to take problematic waste products or potentially hazardous materials and render them non-hazardous through chemical reactions or other means. In some cases, the materials are suitable for reuse or <clears throat> for an alternate beneficial use in their new form. Additionally, these technologies may also provide an opportunity for both, both public and private water treatment plants to integrate them into their headworks in order to pre-treat certain oil and gas field waste, such as heavy metals, before treating the wastewaters for eventual discharge. Lake Country also has an additional exciting technology that will be integrated into our water, treat, water treatment systems or as a standalone process for management of drilling waste cuttings. This product has EPA approvals as a sorbent material and has ability to lock in hazardous waste such that the waste can be treated as non-hazardous and be placed in a landfill instead of a, <coughs> a hazardous waste treatment plant or disposal site. disposal site. As a point of information, the primary reason why there are no systems in place in New York for management of Marcellus development waste streams is because companies are not willing to invest here 
until there are certain <clears throat> until they are certain that New York is indeed moving toward, forward with permitting the development of this resources this resource and the regulatory framework for that development is finalized and clear. The current situation does not mean that we do not have the technology and the expertise to treat any and all waste from our cells to development. In fact, our mobile platform for our treatment systems are adaptable and will allow for rapid deployment into the play once Marcellus commences development in New York. With regard to the need for new legislation, I submit, and it's the opinion of our Board of Directors, that there is no identified need. New York already has substantial authority to monitor the transport of waste, monitor the disposition of waste, and has a robust system in place for discharge limitations for both surface and groundwater discharges. From my exposure to regulations in place and pending across several energy intensive state and states and in two foreign countries, New York already has some of the strictest environmental regulations on development of oil and gas resources. It is my opinion that we need to be very careful about opposing new legislation that may create unintended consequences and blunt technological innovations and advancements with regard to water reuse and treatment. As an example, the hazardous waste bill, which was proposed last year, would have treated all oil and gas field waste as hazardous. This action would have deemed non-hazardous waste, some non-hazardous waste as hazardous, meaning that recycling and reuse of the hydraulic fracturing flowback water would not have been possible based upon a regulatory definition. In addition, it would have resulted in taking valuable space in a hazardous waste facility for materials that are not hazardous. That space could be put to a better use for important hazardous waste. Finally, because the waste would not have been able to be recycled and reused, the waste would need to be transported to hazardous facilities, resulting in exponentially more truck traffic. From my perspective of this industry, there are technological advances happening as we speak. The industry has made great strides in drilling and extending laterals, laterals in horizontal wells. In my opinion, the evolution of technologies to treat and reuse water and waste from the Marcellus is equally as impressive. We need to be cautious to not prevent and to be proactive in allowing the advances in technology to continue without <laughs> legislative and, leg leg and regulatory constraints that will hamper environmental progress. We hope that New York will move forward expeditiously to improve Marcellus development for the benefit of its citizens. Having adequate technologies and systems to treat Marcellus fluids and waste is not an impediment for approval. I appreciate your time and we'll welcome questions. Well, thank you, Mr. Smart. Can you just uh, briefly explain a little more detail? Um, you talk about uh, removing barium uh, and other, other uh, chemicals from hydraulic fracturing flowback water. Um, how, how are you doing that? We have a sequential precipitation process whereby we inject certain chemicals that uh, react with the barium and turn it into a barium sulfate, which is a um, uh, drilling mud. Uh, the um, uh, Deepwater Horizon, the material that was used to kill that well is barium sulfate. We actually manufacture that as part of our process out of, out of uh, frack water, flowback water. Okay. Are you able to, um, so some of the waters that you have, are, do you know what all the, all the chemicals are, that are in the water? Yes. We, we have done research on water from uh, multiple locations across uh, Colombia, Mexico, um, uh, West Virginia, North Dakota, Pennsylvania, New York, and Texas, and there's there's a lot of consistency in the types of water, and there's variations. But we understand the variations in the consistencies, and uh, we have multiple stages. Our, our water treatment processes are modular. For example, the systems that we're going to be sending to Columbia have seven different uh, individual uh, chemical treatment modules in them that include precipitation, uh, um, oxidation through ozone, um, hydrogen peroxide, followed by reverse osmosis. So there's multiple different, depending on the particular waters that we're going to be treating, we have multiple different uh, modules that we would provide. Well, these, these mobile units, how, 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 uh, what's the quantity of water they can treat? Uh, they're typically in modules of uh, 2,500 barrels, which is 100,000 barrels a day. And in the cases where they need larger quantities, we, we just have uh, additional modules that we provide. Okay. They're all about the size of a horse trailer. All right. I appreciate it. I don't know if Senator Gallivan has any questions. No questions? Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Sarah here. Thanks, sir.
Hi. How are you? I'm doing well.